Okay, today we're going to paint this pattern on this S-crank. But what I did was I made my own 3D crawl pattern with using a 3D pen. This 3D pen is nice. Problem is it gets hot fast because, you know, it's, it's not that expensive. So it gets hot fast and the tip, if you buy this for a kid, be careful because the tip gets really hot, it burn your fingers. But besides that, when it, it when it gets hot, it shuts down until it cools off. When it cools off, it works fine. But besides that, they make some really nice stencils. I've been slacking. I haven't made that many stencils with it. I have actually got this last year for Christmas got this last year for Christmas and I haven't really made that many stencils. I made one for a 120 3D crawl for a 120. I gotta make a video with that for you guys. And then now I made one which is this one here. Got hooks on it, so it's not gonna set right right now. But that's that. Oh, damn hooks. Yeah. Get that off there. Put it on this one. Where we at? There we go. Man, I'm going in circles. I'm making you guys dizzy, I bet you. <laughs> All right, this is what we're going to do. 3D crawl pen. And when you make, I'm going to make a video making stencils. They made some pretty cool. This is just regular going in circles. Regular going in circles. This is going to be the next video. I'm going to make a video using these, these stencils, which I've been slacking. Man, I've been slacking. I should have been already banging out a whole mess of stencils. I had this for a whole year. It'd be Christmas next month. And only me. This is all I have right here. That's it. So, man, I'm slacking. And you definitely need a wood burning tool. You definitely need something to make the design. You're definitely going to need a wood burning tool. And you need to be really, really ventilated, man. You got to make sure you open some windows. Uh, open your door if you're near a door. Open some windows because, man, this that plastic really stinks. This right here really smells. When it starts burning, man, I'll have that room you're in stinking. So make sure it's ventilated real nice. But besides that, let's uh, get the painting. Let's... See what this looks like with some candy. Hopefully it come out looking decent. All right. Thank you guys and girls the paint I'm going to be using today. But before I do that, I forgot to say these stencils might not sit right on this bait for the fact that I put aluminum foil and I dipped it. So it's, it's a little thicker than what it should then previously so well hopefully it, it works it works good hopefully 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 all right this is the paints we're gonna be using we're gonna do candy candy oh yeah candy on top of chrome always 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 if you can do it if you can't sterling silver is the way to go but candy 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 first we're gonna be using candy orange and this is new. I haven't tried this one yet. This is brand new. I haven't opened it. I haven't tried it yet. So hopefully it's nice. Hopefully. And then the last, not least, black. I think this is all I'm going to need for now. If I need different, something different, I'll fill you in. And then this is what I mix with it. Mix in it. But yeah. Okay, the first step is going to be is focusing that orange just on the belly. And that's it. We just going to just it's going to be about 6 passes of orange. K 
candy. You want to put candy in not too much, but not too light. So let's do orange. Just focus on the belly, and that's it. Now that was six passes of that orange. Now I'm time to put the stencil on. And hopefully I don't scratch the bottom up too bad because a lot of the times these stencils scratch the bottom up. So hopefully I don't scratch the bottom up. that was two passes of that red oxide i think that's how you say it red oxide something like that but it looks more goldish brown it's supposed to be red but it looks more goldish brown so that's the red oxide right there i just want to make sure that i was putting the right color on but yeah it looks more brownish gold but all right well i'm going to put six passes on it and let's see what it does back i put the six passes on it actually turned red but it looks more like a burnt sienna more like a yeah more like a brownish a brownish gold it don't look red i don't know it don't look it's supposed to be red it don't look red it looks more like a brown all right now it's time for black let's do some detail It's time for the big reveal. Hopefully it come out all right. The good part about it is you can clip it right back on, unclip it, clip it back on, and whatever you messed up, and just touch it back up. So that's the 
best part about making your own stencil. But, all right, it's time for the big reveal. Real quick, put the... The heat set bulk there. Time for the big reveal. Let's see what happens. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. Don't look so bad. Didn't get that many scratches. I don't think I got any scratches, but one up here, one right there, a little scratch there. A couple of little scratches, but that's easy to touch up. Now I just got to do all the detail. But yeah, it's the red and the orange. All right, let's get into some detail now. Hold on, I'll be right back. All right, so what we're going to do now is try to touch up, for example, finish making the line to go across in the face on both sides. See a little right there where the stencil scratched the face a little bit. And I'm just going to add a little bit a homemade, I made this um, homemade stencil. We're going to use homemade stencils to add detail. So I'm going to do this right now. dollar store you can get these at the dollar store they're perfect for eyes for this type of project where you're going to paint over top these are perfect eyes to use for crawdads homemade stencil about to add a little bit of detail on the side of my homemade stencil paint over top of the, the eyes with a little bit of black just that simple back with the I'm done with the top the, the detail you can't really even see it you can't really see the black over top of that that red all the details there but it's kind of hard to see you see it a little better on that side all right, now I'm going to flip it over and do the detail on the bottom.
Okay, I'm all done. I'm going to take tape off and dip it. I'm going to touch up all the little, <clears throat> couple little spots. But besides that, just ready to go. See what it looks like in about 15 minutes when I take it out of the UV box. Candy Crawl Dad, a 3D Candy Crawl Dad pattern with a red that I first time ever using it. So hopefully let's see what it looks like when it comes out the UV box. All right, I'll be back when it's all done. Back. It's been a couple days um, since I've done it. Since I made this video, I'm sorry, since I made the video and um, I took it out to fish. I want to, let me see what it looks like in the water because if you see it in person, it, it, that brown is like a brownish red. It's kind of ugly. But man, when it hits that water, oh my goodness. Yeah, man. Look at the segments. Yeah, man. I think it's so weird. When it's the water, it turns like a red. This is was my, one of my throwaway blanks. So I figured, let me test this color out on it. That's why it has a little bit of silver, sterling silver on the front. This actually, this blank is actually what I made the stencil with. And I poked holes in this blank, poked a couple holes in it, and it still works. Put aluminum foil on top of it. And I dipped it, and then painted it, and then dipped it again. Works fine. But I'm just going to hang it now. This is going up on the wall. But yeah, this is really, really nice. Only difference, I wish I would put the yellow on the bottom. The next one's going to be, I'm going to do, I'm going to put some yellow on it and see what it looks like. But I'm going to use something that I don't know. I'm going to load them in the foil, a couple baits. I got some of these lined up ready gray. I'm going to foil everything here for the next mission. But yeah, 3D crawl, 3D crawl candy. Hope you guys liked the video. Thank you for watching. My name is Rick and I'm out.